Now that chase was just one example as to why a crime sweep was conducted in Berkeley County by about 75 members of law enforcement from various state and county agencies. That chase started in Berkeley County and ended in North Charleston. Our Carly Baker joining us live now as she got to tag along with one of the deputies and Carly, tell us more about what you experienced today. Michael, this was called a crime suppression sweep that happened in Berkeley County tonight and officials tell me the ultimate goal of the sweep was to make the county a safer place. The agencies involved patrolled the areas in the county. They have seen the most issues with things like drugs, violence and traffic. This is something they plan out by looking at data from annual reports and citizens complaints. The sheriff of Berkeley County, Dwayne Lewis, says he hopes by doing this that the citizens will be able to sleep better at night. We're just trying to let the citizens know that we're out there, that we're getting these bad people off the street, and we're doing everything we can to make them safe. One of the arrests I witnessed involved a motorcycle and drugs. Sergeant Joe Seegers says it started out as a pursuit involving a motorcycle, but that they canceled it due to traffic and weather conditions. From there, he says he saw a motorcycle and driver matching the description and approached the individual. When I made contact with him, he had a uh, open backpack and in plain sight, I could see a magnet box, which is very common for concealing illegal drugs and sticking out of it. You could actually see a small bag of well, we are clear crystal substance uh, I recognize as methamphetamine, so we ended up detaining and arresting him. Once it field tested positive, we also found uh, a pretty decent amount of fentanyl and a firearm. The Berkeley County Sheriff's Office says they hope to release the names and charges of those involved in the sweep within the next few days. We will keep you updated on air and on our website when that information is released. Reporting live, Carly Baker, Life 5 News.